All right, so what you just saw there is what we call pseudocode. Pseudocode is a compact and informal high-level description of a computer programming algorithm. They use the structural conventions of a programming language, but it's intended for human reading rather than machine reading. A variable. You also saw that a variable is a symbolic name given to some known or unknown quantity or, or information for the purpose of allowing the name to be used independently of the information it represents. Now let's look at some pseudocode. Most people say A equals B, B equals 3, C equals A plus B. But really, that's not the right way to say it. It's what, the right way to say it is that 1 is assigned to A, 3 is assigned to B, and the contents of A plus the contents of B is assigned all to C. So what's the value of C? In this case, the value of C would be 4, because what's in A is 1, what's in B is 3, and all that's assigned to the variable C. You use the print statement to actually print out the contents of C to the computer monitor. Now, next question, what is C? So I just added two more instructions. I said 7 is assigned to A, 10 is assigned to B, print C. Now, most people will say that this is equal to 17, but that would be wrong, because C is actually still equal to 4. Why is that the case? That's the case because this assignment C has not been changed. C is still assigned to the contents of A, which was 1, plus the contents of B, which was 3, and so C is 4. We have not done anything to change the value of C. Just because we reassigned the, val the variables used doesn't mean we changed the value of C. Now, if we took this exact same statement and we put it right in here between the print statements, then when you print C, then it will equal 17. But for right now, it's still equal to 4. Let's look at this. This says, in quotation marks, Amos is assigned to A. In quotation marks, Johnson is assigned to B. In quotation marks, space is assigned to C. Now, when you use the quotations, these quotations means whatever's in it is, is just simple text. And that simple text is stored in that variable. And this print command basically will print out Amos Johnson to the computer. You see the space here and it with space in, intact. All right, let's solve a problem. Write a program to find the X and Y intersection point between two lines. All right, so the first step, we gotta ask some questions. First, what is the equation of a line? What is known? What is unknown? How do you even solve this on paper? So before you even think about trying to write a program for this, you need to try to solve this on paper first. So first question is, what's the equation of line? It's y equals mx plus b, of course. What's known? We know the slope, and we know the y-intercept. What's unknown? The y value and the x value. How do you solve this on paper? Well, what you got to do is you take line 1, and you take line 2, and you set them equal to each other, and you solve for x, and then you solve for y. And when you finish, this is the program that the results from that. Notice the input command again. This is asking the user to do something. And what you want the user to do is, is state it inside the, uh, the, the text in um, quotations. So you're asking it to enter the slope of line 1. And that's saved into variable m1. Then you ask to enter the slope of line 2. That's saved into variable m2. The ask to enter the y-intercept of line 1, and that's saved into variable b1. And the ask to enter the y-intercept of line 2, and that's saved into b2. Now, this whole first section, all that is input. I'm just asking the user to give me some input. And my writing here is kind of terrible with this mouse pen. All right. The next section is, this is where we do our equations. So x is equal to b1 minus b2 divided by m1 minus m, m2 minus m1. Now the b1 comes from here, the b2 comes from this point, the y2 comes from here, and the y1 comes from there. And then once you get your x, you just plug it into one of the other equations, y equations, and you get your y. The commands down here basically prints out the intersection point is 
and then x and y is going to print out the values of x and y. And that is a program. 